Amazon is the world's leading online retailer founded by Jeff Bezos. It's now also a major player in web hosting. Indeed, and it's spent a lot of money improving its logistics uh, presence and its distribution centers in order to bring its very broad range of products closer to the customer in order to cut down delivery times and enable all sorts of new lines. Market cap here, 393.9 billion US dollars, trades on a PE of 207 and pays no dividends. Take a little bit of a start at the PE. It's not infinity as is Tesla, but uh, it's Extremely peaking. Extremely high, yeah. So, but uh, clearly this business is uh, discounting a lot of expected future growth still. Uh, but it has become a, a juggernaut. It's the biggest online retailer in the world, biggest uh, hoster of web services as well, which was almost sort of an aside to, to the main business as they were growing these data centers. They, uh, they launched that service. Uh, clearly led by a very strong leader, Jeff Bezos, now the third richest man in the world as a result of the success of Amazon. And uh, they're really grabbing the space wholesale. I think if you look at the traditional players like Walmart, which have been grocery retailer, Amazon's clearly in the lead and these uh, traditional players are, are, are trying to catch up. So they have uh, what looks like potentially an unassailable lead. Let's have a look at the share price. There it is. And a very nice steep upward Indeed. curve. The tech analysts would love that. <laughs> I mean, we bought ours in about a month ago and that was at $800. Now they're at 834 So it's a new all-time high. It's in the big league. It's almost $400 billion worth of market cap. But, I mean, it just continues to execute well. The historic price to earnings ratio is probably because they accidentally made a profit in one of their recent <laughs> quarters. You know, they kind of were calculating the numbers and then somehow or another they just ended up with a profit. It's not his stated goal right now. He just wants world domination. Would you buy into Amazon given that it is trading at all-time highs? It, I mean, it clearly holds a very important space in the future of, of commerce. Uh, and so that, that's very important. And I guess as an investor, you would want to be part of that. What's really uh, the, the key decision is what is the expected growth and what does that translate into future earnings? And does that represent value today? That's a little, little bit more difficult. They do make quite a big EBITDA profit. Amazon Web Services yes. is wildly profitable. So I guess you could strip that out and say what is the, the balance worth and what is a potential margin uh, of that uh, the e-commerce business maybe it's something like two percent only uh, as a large distributor but you have to work it out it's it's quite a lot of market beta right now they think there's a lot of market uncertainty uh, just uh, globally and uh, you know a, a share at record highs I think it could moderate from and maybe here. heed a little caution thank goodness we've already bought into it and you're <laughs> yeah. not gonna buy it today a couple of things I just want to note firstly they've still got a lot of money to spend on infrastructure and they're starting to buy and lease their own plans in order to build their own distribution some people even think they may buy UPS or FedEx they're very much US focused, although they're quite big in Europe and other parts of the world, there's still lots of growth potential to take the business into other regions. They are beginning though also to broaden the business base, as Rowan has mentioned, the web services business not to be sneezed at. That's the stuff you end up on if you're doing a high, you know, traffic website and you suddenly see that little AWS coming up in your string. The business, to me, just has got enormous further upside. I wouldn't be worried at this point. I so think you would buy more at this all-time high? I think if you're... If we had cash, we don't have any cash left. But if you don't, if you're watching the show and you're thinking, I'm going to be looking at a new international portfolio. Amazon Prime, we haven't even mentioned that. Mm. That's where their customers pay $99 a year in order to have free delivery. And what they found is the minute people do that, they just go crazy buying stuff. Free delivery, that sounds very attractive. So where, instead of paying $10 of every delivery? time, you get one-time purchase membership but of Amazon brilliant. Prime. But that's brilliant. It's almost like a loyalty program. Yeah, and the delivery charges are what generally would scare someone off. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, I, if you're a believer that e-commerce is the future and more and more people are going to do their shopping online, which I think is a reality. You look at the millennials, behaviors are changing uh, and they are a key part of that. 55% of US consumers, their first online destination for shopping is Amazon. Mm. That puts it into context, sure. hot yeah, or not? Definitely hot. Hot or not, Ryan? I'm concerned about the markets, I'm gonna say not right now.